Alright guys, so there was another video that I posted of a very similar looking screen before and there was no narration, no information at all. That video was only for uh, communicating with the manufacturer of this projector, uh, which is in China. So there was no real easy way for me to send them a video. I couldn't email it because the file was too large. So I had to post it on YouTube and copy the link. So that's what that's about. That video is probably going to wind up coming down. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but like 15 people watched it for some reason. So this one makes a lot more sense. What was happening before is what's in the other video. And I may cut to some of that in here. But it was not flipping the screen at all. You would try to get it to do rear projection or ceiling projection, floor rear, floor ceiling, switch those modes around and it wasn't doing it at all. Uh, and the manufacturer just about didn't believe me uh, that I was having the problem that I was having, but I, I figure I can't be the only one. So uh, after a bunch of back and forth with them and uh, I communicate with China fairly frequently um, through work um, for other reasons but uh, it, it can be challenging uh, even if they are able to type and read English or use a translator or something it's still sometimes not easy um, so they finally sent me the software update for this projector and when they did they sent it we transfer so we transfer you only have like 24 hours to get to the file before it expires that way they don't load up their um, uh, the word escapes me now but that way they don't have a storage issue where they have a bunch of messages and files waiting for recipients that never come and get them so it expires and you can't get it anymore after 24 hours so I missed that. I didn't, I, I didn't get to it twice because they sent it to a different email. I was copied. I copied my home email and my work email. Anyway, they finally sent it and I put it on a thumb drive and I stuck it in the USB port of the projector right there. Um, and you go to, I will show you where you go to. It auto detects it, which is nice. It's not, um, I've done firmware up, upgrades on a bunch of devices and this one was pretty simple. So there's the software update. You click on that and if the thumb drive is in the projector with the file on it, there's actually, they sent me uh, two files, um, which I still have. If it's on the thumb, if the file's on the thumb drive, then it just automatically loads. It automatically starts. Like as soon as you hit the OK button, it starts, it, it, there's a complete bar, a completion bar that shows up and it just goes to, you know, 10%, 15%, 25% and done. And then it shuts off and comes back on and now it works. So now the flip button right there flips the image. That was not happening before. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've mounted 200 projectors in a previous career and never seen that before. It was doing everything else, but it wasn't doing this. And it really is simple, it's just a press of a button. So they're like, look, you moron, just hit the flip button. What are you doing? And I had to send them the video or a link to the video for them to finally see that, yes, I did have the problem. And I'm like, send me the software update. And they kind of went back and forth and didn't want to send it. I don't know why, but after they did, it fixed it. So, um, that's what I would do right off the bat if you have this problem. I can tell you that that company right there, some painting done, the projector's dirty. That company right there uh, is now aware of this problem if they weren't before. So if you have that problem, it should be pretty quick for you to email them. Uh, they're in China, so it'll take 24 hours or so before they get back to you. 
um, if you're in the U.S., that is. And then they'll send you the software update and get to it quickly. Watch that email, or else they'll have to do it a few times, and it should fix it right away. Like, there was no issues right after that. So I hope this helps you out. Um, leave a comment or question below if I can help you out with anything else with this or other electronics. Thanks.